Hey guys, welcome to a fun lesson in the After Effects course. This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com. So, I'm going to try to show you a, an example of a title sequence, or a lower third, basically, using all the techniques we've learned. And this is just to show you how far you've come, and how much you really know, and what you can do with all your knowledge. So, first, let's set up our lower third, and then we're going to create some motion out of it. So, I'm going to start a new layer, solid, and we'll make it something like a lighter, let's do a lighter uh, red, maybe, so let's do something like this. Um, then we're going to take our masking tool and create a bar down here in the lower third area. So now we have one bar and now we're going to add some text to it. So this is, I'll just add my name, Phil Ebener, and I'm just going to put it right there. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. And then I'm going to add a, another bar. So I'm going to add a new solid. I'm going to change the color make it kind of a greenish. Okay, now I'm going to put this underneath the red so I can see where I want to mask it using the mask tool. Again, I'm going to create a little bar. Oops, I want to make sure that I have this green layer selected. Then I just want to create a little mask, something like this. And I'm going to just move it up. Right, so it's underneath our red bar. And here I'm going to add um, some text describing who I am. So I'm just going to duplicate that layer. I press Command D, decrease the size. I'll say Video Creator and Instructor. So I have that text. It's hard to see that text with the light background, so I'm going to make it black. So something like this. I'm going to align both with or the bottom text with the, the top text. So it's left justified. The P and the V match up. Okay, so this is pretty good now. So first things first, I want to parent my layers. So I'm going to put this video creator layer next to my green layer. I'm going to parent this layer to the green layer. Taking this little swirly thing dragging and dropping it. And I did the same with the Phil Ebner. So now, whatever I do with this layer, so if I move it, or whatnot, it affects the text as well. And it treats it as one. So maybe, first, let's just try something like where the each bar will pop out. So this is our final resting stop, I would call, for our text. So. I'm going to set a position keyframe for both these color bars. So I brought up P using pressing P on the keyboard to bring up P, the position function. So now I set a keyframe there. Then I'm going to go back half a, a few frames. And I'm going to move them off. So first I'm going to move the top bar until it's completely off. And I'm going to move the bottom bar until it's completely off. So right now, if I render this out, let's see what it looks like. So they both come out at the same time. I want this bottom one to come out after the top one. So I'm just going to move these keyframes to where right to start right when the top one comes out and ends its motion. So Philabner Video Creator. Maybe I will add some motion blur to these and turn on motion blur up here and see what that looks like. That looks a little bit more natural. Might want to move these keyframes in a little bit to speed up this little motion animation. So that's pretty cool. And we did that with all the techniques that we've learned in this course. Let's add a little bit more uh, to this. So maybe we want um, the text to, we don't want it to 
come out with the bar, but we want it to appear after the bar has come out. So I'm going to actually make these not parent these text layers not parented to the bars. So let me just select all, press U to bring up the keyframes. So right after this pink bar comes out, we want our text to appear. I'm going to make the this text 3D. I'm going to change the anchor point to above it in the center and I'm going to bring up rotation and then I'm going to set a an X rotation keyframe and move it a few frames forward and then I'm going to rotate this text up and back as you can see it's going up and back right about there then I'm going to click and drag this layer so it only starts when the rotation animation starts so let's see what this looks like so that's you get the point the bar comes out fill up nerve pops down now I want our bottom text to kind of maybe have a linear trans transition in so linear fade so let's do linear fade wipe click and drag that and drop that onto video creator I'm going to set it at so if I I do it this direction, it's going to come in from the right. I want it to come in from the left. So the wipe angle is 90 degrees. I'm going to make it 270. So it's coming in from the left. So let me change the set a keyframe for transition completion. And then I will go forward a few frames. And we will now make it 0%. So that was a little bit too fast. So maybe, actually, I know what I want to do. I want it to start from after Video Creator and then just wipe in Instructor. So I'm going to delete this, the keyframes. I'm going to set the transition completion to right after video creator so 70 percent set that keyframe and then I'm gonna go forward and do zero so it wipes in instructor so that's pretty cool but I also want to add a little bit of motion to this the video creator part so I will let's just add a 3d rotation as well so we will keep the the anchor point on the left we'll use a Y um, rotation so I will that will be the ending point I'll go back as soon as the green bar appears and I will rotate this backwards it kinda looks like it's coming from behind and I'm also going to click and drag this layer so it appears as soon as the first rotation keyframe appears. So I don't know if I like that rotation in, but you get the point and you of you know how many things you really truly know and what you can really do with After Effects. Let me just make that instructor wipe a little bit slower. So something like that's kinda cool. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions about this one or about any other techniques in After Effects, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.